Hi there! I'm going to be doing a little bit of XCOM Enemy Unknown for you guys. Uh, this is a turn-based strategy game. It's actually a lot of fun. And I'm actually going to be using a customs names file, which I used... I posted a video a while back, uh, and I let everybody comment, so... It's filled with a bunch of my subscribers. And uh, it, it's too late if you want to go in it now. It's The file's in the description. I'm just using that one file, so you can't go in it now if you're not already in it. And uh, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. McBigDix is actually not going to be one of the names here. I, I prefer to bring people who actually were using their own names, because that would be more fun than uh, stupid names. Anyway, so the difficulty we are playing on is classic. Uh, impossible is... Uh, impossible. Well, not really. This is like my... S technically my second time through the game completely. I've done a couple of practice runs starting on classic. But, uh... But basically, we, we're going to be playing on classic difficulty, which is a it's a pretty pretty moderate challenge, pretty pretty up there. Um, not as hard as this, obviously, but we'll, we'll go into what impossible implies a little later. Um, I'm also going to be playing on Iron Man, which is basically I can't load saves, which means a uh, a common th occurrence in this game is some people do save scumming, which is basically you make you try something, you make a mistake, then you load back, which is something I did during my first run of the game because I was still experimenting with it. But I am literally forcing myself to not... I, I can't go back after any mistakes. Uh, so people will die, mistakes will be made, all that kind of stuff. There's also a bunch of second wave options, which are kind of interesting. Uh, we're not activating any of these because some of these are kind of buggy. And I don't even know if uh, I really want to try it at the moment. None of this is like... I don't know, it's, it, it's if you really want to make the game difficult, uh, but, you know, that's not what, what we're going to do here. We're just going to do a vanilla classic Iron Man run. So, uh, without further ado, let's get going. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Commander. So the Earth is under attack, and uh, the world has called upon Mike Latt subscribers to uh, to make everything better. So we're pretty fucked, aren't we? Um, so here we get to choose our base location, uh, which is a we get basically a, a continent bonus for the whatever we're on, and we get it permanently. So you can either get air and space, which is like air, aircraft bonuses, laboratory and workshop bonuses. Um, this is mostly res like kind of like research bonuses, sort of. 
except in the form of like just straight upgrades. Uh, this one's mostly for autopsies and interrogations, which is direct research uh, bonuses. And also uh, a monthly XCOM funding increase. Um, most people actually go to Europe, and I can actually see why they do that. But I'm actually not going to be doing that, because for some reason I, I really like starting in Africa. Uh, because the, the I like getting my satellites up as soon as possible. I'm, as I said, I haven't played this game a lot, but this honestly is what I usually end up going because I really like having a lot of money, so that's kind of how I roll. So let's go confirm this guy. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Oh, it's time for Operation Crim Crimson Dream in Nigeria. And so let's go see who's answered the call uh, to go kill some aliens. As our Sky Ranger lands. Who shall it be? Remember, there's like a 1 in 300 chance that your name was picked here. If you commented on there. So let's go see who the lucky ones Strike are. One. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. So, first we have Mr. Shiv, <laughs> obviously going to be the uh, the best member of our team, he's a fucking hero. We have Chevy Chase, Vol Volkov, probably Russian, and Michael, what? <laughs> Apparently I'm here, yeah! <laughs> I did intend for this to happen, I swear to god my name isn't appearing like a thousand times. I won the lottery, fuck yes! Uh, I gotta make sure I don't die now. Well, okay, so the kind of game this is. So you basically get um, one, you get two turns, and uh, so here's my little health bar, um, and th these are the two turns I get. And you can't, except in very special circumstances, you can't really. If if you fire with your first shot, you'll take your se your second turn as well. And so it's a turn-based uh, uh, strategy game. So. You know, the first turn, it basically go. Um, I'm, I'm doing my turn right now, so after I'm done moving all my guys and getting them into position, uh, then the aliens will get a chance to turn. But I haven't actually activated any of them, so it doesn't matter. So what I like to do normally is actually keep my squad together, um, especially at these beginning parts, which is a major problem. I swear to God, if I'm not a sniper, I'm going to fucking do something. Anyway, anyways, um, so I basically moved all my guys into position. They're all grouped up nicely here. Um, and so I don't really, even though some guys are out of cover right now, I don't have to worry about that because uh, since none of the aliens are activated, they will not shoot me. Because uh, their first turn, whenever I see them, that is basically them being surprised and running into cover. So one of the first abilities you're going to see me here use is Overwatch. So basically what Overwatch does is... Moving to Overwatch. What that does is um, if someone moves into my line of vision, so if they're patrolling around and they move into my line of fire, my guys get a free shot on them. And Overwatch is good if you don't want them to move or if you don't see anybody, so like this. So I'm going to make everybody do it. I've got my eyes on. So now the aliens get a turn, but since they are not activated, uh, nothing happens. And also you heard them talking, which is something I actually don't keep on. I just want to show you it. Um, it's normally actually an option I just turn off because it makes it go faster into Overwatch. You don't really need to hear the soldiers saying anything. It doesn't really matter to begin with, so I don't know. So anyways, there's two kinds of cover here. There's uh, full cover, which is represented by the full shield here, and half cover. And so what half cover does is it's tw plus 20 defense while the, the full cover is plus 40 defense. And uh, it... You can see right here actually what the defense rate like. I mean, let me go to Mr. Shiv. So my defense rating for Mr. Shiv is 40, which means it, it like takes away minus 40 percent chance that they'll aim. It's this is a game very much based upon probabilities. So if I move this guy into half cover, alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. It's not a good thing that I did that because he's unfortunately very susceptible to getting flanked but luckily since I only did that with one move I can easily move him back and yeah, I, can, I can move him either into that kind of cover or actually right over here so this way he's now out of the line of fire so uh, what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm going to be slowly moving up my team here and using full cover to my fullest and so this is unfortunately not a very good shot I can take over here um, 
25% chance or not, is not very good odds, but I'm gonna still move uh, some of my guys out and see. Okay, I can't really see anybody here either. So here's what, this is the plan. Um, since we don't have any good lines of shots, there's a couple guys over here. Uh, basically, here's, a, here's what's gonna happen. They can't actually see me overwatch when I overwatch like this, so this guy's gonna overwatch. This guy is going to actually use an ability called Hunker Down, and what Hunker Down does is he can't get critted, and it doubles the cover bonus, so he's very unlikely they're gonna actually shoot him at all. And this person, they're gonna overwatch. So the people not in range are overwatching while they take, while the aliens take their turn. And I'm gonna hope that I get an opening. If not, I'll just start moving up. Now, uh, what you see here is this is a melt, mind melded alien. So he's got a bit of extra health. And wow, took a shot at that one. I don't know why my tr my Overwatch didn't get triggered, but he's now actually completely out in the open, which is r really good for me. Uh, but I have to go see if there's a. Uh, I can go over here, and unfortunately, going over here would be dashing for me. Let me see if I have any other openings. Not really. All right. Uh. Okay, so I have two chances to hit, which is like 45%. That is a shot I will take. So let's go do that. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. And naturally, the first kill goes to Mike Lapp. If I'm not the sniper, it's it's just over. I'm never playing this game again. Okay, um, I don't have a visual on the other two guys, so I'm going to go make everyone overwatch and hope that they come out and engage me. Because it's it's all about, especially in this difficulty mode, it's all about safety. We want to be safe. And so someone over up there is, uh, see they could be in overwatch, so if I run into that, it's, it's a problem for me. So we'll do one more turn of overwatch and then we'll, uh, then we'll move out. So we can hear where they're coming from, and normally if the, vo if the soldier voices were on, then I would be able to, uh... Okay, they keep mind melding, which is, as I said, gives plus one HP and a bit more critical chance, and I think a tiny bit more aim. So we're gonna actually move up into this cover right here. Okay, nobody's there. So, we're gonna move up. And I know this is not real cover, but... Whatever. Okay, so reload. Usually, usually my soldiers get about like four shots in. So, and pistols have unlimited ammo. I can switch weapons at any time with these guys. They keep doing a little mind melt up there. You can see where they are right there, and I could I could grenade them to flush them out potentially if I wanted to. Uh, let's see. Who can we cover? Wow, they're 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 just tunkered in there. Aren't they? So we're, remember, it's all about safety. We don't we, we don't want to lose anybody, so we're just gonna slowly, methodically kind of move up here and hope that they actually do something. Okay. And once again, there you can kind of see over there. I can't really tell where they are. But uh, what we'll do is that uh, we'll see if we can get some sight on them. So this is actually full cover right here. So this is a really good idea. And there we have them. And so the thing about mind melders is that um, this is this guy is the guy who's doing the mind melding. Like he's mind melding other people, like another guy somewhere. If you kill this guy, you kill the guy he's melding with. So this is a good shot to take because I get I got a flank on him, and his cover didn't even matter. And then the other guy died wherever he is. You can't, you can't see him. Yeah, there he is. He died. Two kills with one shot. It's an, it's amazing, I have to tell you. And so I'm going to move this guy up here. He will overwatch. Uh, we'll get another overwatch over here. Generally, um, on your first move, you don't want to move out too far. Because the farther you move out, the more of a chance you'll run into something. And you won't be prepared. And, and not being prepared is probably the worst thing that can ever happen to you. So... Um, I guess Mike Lott. Well, not Mike Lott. I, I won't be the one to move up. I, can't, I still can't believe I was the one who won the... I won the lottery. So I'm moving over here. And I can't see anybody. But we can get... 
Um, oh yes, another little mechanic I can talk about. You see how there's a yellow line here, which and it tells me dashing, opposed to the blue one. If I dash, I'm using up both of my uh, turns to do so, uh, to move up there. So it's obviously not a thing I want to do very often, but in cases where uh, you're pr at least fairly certain that no one's gonna s see you, then you can kind of not care. Like in this case, I don't care, and everyone else is on Overwatch. So we gotta find out where the rest of those aliens are. And we can hear them from coming from that direction, so let's go and uh, move up to this green thing, which in the cutscene appeared to be really bad. And so we can move everyone up here, and we don't really have to care, and this is apparently the shortest route, according to myself. Oh man. I swear to god, I did not rig this. <laughs> I just happen to be, you know what, I, I will say though, my name is technically like three times in there. Uh, it's, I'm Tactical LP, XXX Snipes 420, and, uh, and then just Mike Lab. Alright, let's see who's over here. Nope, no one over here yet. This is, this is getting kind of freaky. And these guys are all rookies, so. I'm just gonna keep on overwatching. Uh, a little bit farther. So it's remember, it's all about safety. Uh, we're hearing like two over there. Hopefully, there aren't like two groups together. Nope. And uh, here we go. By the way, the music you may actually recognize it. It's um the same guy who did the Deus Ex music. Now I don't know how this is a forty-five percent chance to hit. Like, just check this out. Like, it's just, he's behind a wall here. The thing you'll realize really quick about XCOM is that everybody has a name bot. Fortunately, that was a mess. It, 45 is not good odds, but, you know, it's not terrible odds either, to be honest. I'm, I'm all for 45%. Now, here's the thing I could do. I can move both these guys into half cover and try and take pot shots at the same guy. Uh, or I could try and be more safe about this. Um, or, uh, alternately, I can start trying to move and get a flank off with this guy. Which is not a terrible idea within itself. Okay, I'm gonna move this guy over here. I think this counts as full cover, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter, because we're gonna be overwatching anyways. But he's in full cover, so he should be pretty safe off. And this guy's now get, getting his, uh, his, his plus to health. Because he's getting melded by somebody. And, and also, by the way, the aliens also have two moves just like you. For some reason, I cannot get a shot off, shot off on that guy. So, I don't think Chevy Chase has gotten uh, a kill yet, so I actually might just lob a grenade in there. Um... I don't have a whole lot of options at the at my disposal though. That's the problem. I could also go over here and that is not actually a, a if I go over here, unfortunately, this block actually counts as it, it will block me and he'll still count as actually being behind cover because it's all based upon a grid system and I have to have a clear line of sight. Um it is possible that up here I'll have a hit. Uh, I'll be able to take a shot, so we'll try it. And unfortunately, it doesn't actually count. I can't even hit him from here. And you know what? I think I'm going to actually move out of there because it just occurred to me that there's a, probably an alien over here somewhere. I, didn't even, I can't even get a shot off on him. So we'll, we'll move back here. Chevy will grenade. Wait. Why is it? Oh, he technically he has a flank shot right now. That, that really does count as a flank, apparently. Okay, let's see if uh, this person over here can go in and... Uh, apparently he can. It's only, uh... It's only two. Okay, I thought that wasn't going to be a flank, but apparently it is. Let's go move this guy up here. So, here's what we can do with this. Oh boy, see this one is not a flank. I I don't understand. Okay, we're gonna try and pistol him. 
And the odds are in my favor. Now, unfortunately, that that does lead to a bit of a problem because now all my guys here have kind of a problem. They uh, they might get flanked, and there's no uh, no one protecting them. So this guy will Overwatch to try and protect them, although it may not work out that way. Unfortunately, he's just about to get flanked himself. So this is what flank shots do. And he got missed, so I guess it wasn't. Alright. Uh, flank shots, basically, they raise your the chance to critical. Uh, yeah, he is actually getting flanked. Damn. And he didn't die. Well, he's a, he's a trooper. Okay. Chevy got the kill, so who doesn't have a kill? I think he doesn't. So I, I kind of want everybody to get a kill out of this. Uh, it's in my best interest to do so. So here's what we're going to do. You move up here. I don't think this guy got a kill at all. So we're going to just chuck a grenade at this guy. We don't like grenades because it removes, unfortunately, the rewards that you'd normally get from this. You may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Uh, it's it's one of those things. It's damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's it's worthwhile to not lose people and get promotions for people. Otherwise, uh, and now everyone gets a shot off. It's a freaking turkey shoot. Fortunately, everybody misses because Overwatch gives a bit of a penalty to aim. Wow, this guy has a death wish. <laughs> you came to the wrong planet, motherfucker. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. And back to Sky Ranger, and let's see who got promoted and who's not a rookie anymore. Because rookies are terrible people. So back to our headquarters in Africa, in Nigeria, or wherever the hell we are, I don't know. Best headquarters ever. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. And guess what? Everyone got at least one kill. So everyone has been upgraded to something. Unfortunately, I'm the heavy, which is totally makes sense for me. I do like I do like big machine guns. Let's be honest. So Volkov got to Commander be our sniper. Mr. Shiv got to be labs. support. <laughs> Great for his name. Chevy Chase got to be assault, and uh, and as I said, I'm a heavy. So let's go see what everything is. Just like it sounds. The support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Uh, supports are mostly su supposed to be medics, uh, and they also get a smoke grenade, which also gives me plus 20 defense to everything that's in the smoke grenade. It lasts for like, uh, uh, about, I think like two turns or something, at least through the enemy turn. So it's good, it's good for being defensive. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. So, snipers are pretty much as used. They are the most OP thing in this game. They're very good, very powerful. And uh, uh, you start off with headshot ability, which is basically increasing your uh, your chance to uh, critical hit, which is nice. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Probably the second most powerful class in this game because you can flank really easily and running gun basically lets you do that dashing thing and then shoot right after which is pretty amazing And the last one but not least the heavy weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad with the rocket launcher in tow There are demolitions experts to the Apparently I'm a, I'm a black woman. I guess because I started in in uh, in, uh, in Africa although I'm from America 
There's no actual Canada list in this. I tried to put myself in the one that would choose Canadian names, but unfortunately I can't do that. So, uh, that's pretty much uh, the, the team we have going right now. The are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Commander uh, to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Let's go to research labs first, then. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. So this is how we do research to get better at weapons and other things like that. So the very first one we're going to be doing, although it's not very, it doesn't explain much about it. Um, alien materials is basically to go towards armor, weapon fragments is to go towards better weapons, and xenobiology is to go against like miscellaneous things like um, capturing aliens, which is kind of nice. So, uh, But we're doing weapon fragments today, uh, and I'll you'll see probably why Commander, a little later. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but... Every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. You know, I don't think I quite explained this, uh, what XCOM even means. It means uh, extraterrestrial combat, in case you weren't aware. And let's go to engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. We've still got some room to grow up here. But if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. So I'm going to just start excavating here, because we will need the space eventually. Oh, and I only have one steam vent. That sucks ass. <laughs> well, that's terrible for me. Oh, well. Kind of bad Commander luck on the draw. Mission control. Commander to mission control. Uh, okay, and so we can also purchase some items here. There's med kits and satellites. I'm not going to get either right now, and you'll see a little bit why later. And we can also go to uh, barracks. Let's see who else has uh, won the lottery here. A whole lot of people. We have... Uh, a triple strike, non noners, lolling LP, Commander to mission control. SGT Dan, Viper 231, MQDO, Orish, and Uncaged Threat, all won. Congratulations. Although you're not out yet because I may hire more in the future if I need them. Because uh, like I only start with like 12, which is enough for like three teams, and people are going to die, I assure you. And we also have our ships here, so we have uh, Raven 1, Raven 2. Uh, they're both in Africa. We don't need them to be anywhere else right now. And Situation Room is disabled at the moment. We'll see what that is a little later. So Hangar, we can shoot down UFOs, basically. That's all this does. It's protecting our satellites and things like that, which we'll see more of later. So let's see Mission Control. Oh, looks like we're not doing much. So, uh, while we're here, we get to... I can make it all blue and glowy. Uh, we can go scan for activity. Uh, and we can basically go look for UFOs and, and shit to shoot down or, or whatever. It's basically we're just waiting for abductions to happen. So, uh, let's go scan. So, some abductions reported. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Well, we're not going to do that right now. Uh, we will start this for next time. So, uh... I hope you guys are liking this so far, and remember, we will be watching.